Hey, welcome back, Outdoors fans. Boondocky here right at you. Um, today we'll be fishing Lake Ackworth in Georgia. This is probably about, I don't know, a 40-minute drive from my house in Marietta. And um, we will be targeting um, crappie and bluegill. Uh, I am using the Native Titan, or 2020 Native Titan 12-footer. And I haven't... Uh, had this kayak for very long probably about uh, two months now this is my uh, probably my third time out at Lake Ackworth and so um, as I learn more and more about kayak fishing I like to share those experiences with you but uh, for now overall just to give you a heads up this is roughly a four-hour trip the uh, water temperature has hovered around 80 81 degrees or so Fahrenheit I'm uh, targeting sort of the grassy areas. I do have a fish finder, but um, I found out I've only had the fish finder for maybe, maybe a month or so. But, uh, yeah, it tends to not do very well in shallow water. We're looking at depths in Lake Ackworth on the sides, um, closer to the sides, pretty much around uh, anywhere from four to two feet, and particularly around these grassy areas. As you head towards like the center of the lake or so, or closer towards the dam, it could easily hit about 12 feet, 13 feet or so. Um, I have the GPS or sort of the uh, recorded sonar logs if you're interested. Um, just let me know if I should be able to put those on, I don't know, Dropbox or something like that. If you go use the low rants um, fish finders. Um, I have submitted them via the Genesis maps, but uh, I'm not sure who can, or since I'm kind of new, I don't know who who can basically access them. I'm primarily a saltwater fisher and off of piers and off of the um, shoreline and such. So fishing from a boat is a relatively new experience for me. Um, the one thing I like about this particular kayak so far uh, in the couple of outings that have had it uh, is that it's relatively stable. Oh man, yeah, it looks like the wind's about to pick up. I do understand around 9-ish or so, there's or 9 p.m., there's going to be a, a, a forecast for a thunderstorm, so we'll see.
as I traveled on the other side of the lake uh, towards the golf course, um, I saw a few hits on my uh, fish finder as far as structure and maybe a few larger fish. I'm not exactly sure what, but I did try to shoot for the bass, but no luck. I tried using worms, uh, drop shot, and maybe uh, some of the um, other type of jigs that I had that were a little bit larger, but no luck. If you have any tips, please let me know. Uh, feel free to comment below. Oh, no worries, man. No harm, no foul. Oh, yeah, been off all day. <laughs> Doing any good today? I just got a crappie and a bluegill. No bass yet, though. Yeah. I'll bring my little girl out here. So we can catch some, some crappie. Oh, yeah, good eating. Yeah. All right, good luck to you. All right, thanks, huh? What I'm talking about. Good night. Get you get a little bit of stitch. Oh, no. You put up a good fight, didn't you?
as for the usage of the Shakespeare spinning uh, reel, uh, I've not had any major problems with it. I get less backlash, as I can tell you that. But on the other hand, I'm, I've been using a baitcaster for, for quite a long time. That's pretty much what I've been using my, almost my entire fishing life. But uh, um, I do like that I can cast a lot of ultralight lures. <laughs> And then, um, you know, it's like you haven't uh, had any problems with uh, using these uh, trout magnets. I'm in the market now and looking for the ultralight setups that are popular with BFS, I think, bait finesse uh, systems that they have out of Japan and such. So I'm going to be trying those out. Oh goodness, I think right with this one, I think we can call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Feel free to leave tips. I would like to catch some of the larger bass that this lake is known for. Feel free to comment and uh, like and subscribe.